Boog's getting a six yeah. break from him. Yep, kind okay. of the same scenario as last year. So um, just got to make sure let those guys get going. They're a very good offensive team. And Franks can, can really score. He's as good a scorer as there is in the league. So it'll be really important that uh, defensively we're, we're ready to play. Is that a good run? I mean, they want to kind of get out there and get you going and, and switch up kind of what you guys have been doing lately and kind of get you going more of their pace. You know, they. Um, you know they like to get up and down, and they, you know, like I said, they can really score and they shoot a lot of threes. You know, so hopefully, you know, we'll be able to get back and put our defense together. They got some transition baskets against us at their place, so we're going to have to do a better job there. Does it help not having to do as much scouting, or do you have to treat it like as if it was? Three, it's the same four for weeks them ago. as it is for us. You know, it. Uh, uh, you know, we'll we'll go over their stuff again. Uh, you know, quick turnaround here today and tomorrow. We took yesterday off, and uh, so hopefully the guys got some sleep and and uh, ready to go today and travel tomorrow already. So it's uh, a real quick turnaround. Everybody's building this up, and it's going to be just completely wide open. Does it feel that way to you? Oh, they say that every year, don't they? I mean, I, I, they, uh, I don't know if that's to peak interest or what, but uh, you know, Washington is 15 and three, so. That, that says something, uh, but I, I do think there are a number of teams. You know, Colorado's playing really good, and uh, uh, Tad's done a great job bringing them along, so they're playing good. Uh, Oregon State's lost some close games, but they're playing pretty good. Utah's scoring baskets. Uh, Arizona State, after our game, finished strong. So, yeah, I mean, there there's a lot of teams. Obviously, the four top four seeds have it easier because we only have to play three games, but. Um, I think there are a lot of teams potentially that are, are talented enough to, uh, to win it. And there's not a dominant team. Uh, Washington won a lot of close games, you know, so it's not Arizona last year won the league and, and kind of dominated the league. Uh, and uh, this year it's a little bit tighter, I think. Your defense is playing really well. How much different is it from when you started the season with Bull and kind of, just kind of what was the changes you had to make to, to get here? Well, I, I think, you know, the biggest thing is we're just, you know, when you watch the film, we're not making nearly as many mistakes. I mean, uh, yeah, we are playing a little harder, but I think part of that's coming from confidence that, you know, guys are where they're supposed to be. It's, it's kind of hard to play hard if, if you're not sure where you're supposed to go. Uh, but our talk and our communication and even when we mess something up, you know, guys are covering up because, you know, they, they know what the guy's doing that's messing up. So. Uh, you know, it's just a little bit too late. I wish we'd have figured this out a while ago. The communication is so important. But defensively, we have, you know, really flown around. Uh, you know, I wanted to say people just shot it bad against us. But, man, all those shots were contested. And we do have some length, you know. When you know, we, we start the big lineup, we got a lot of length. Uh, Miles comes off the bench. Uh, he's a really good defender. Uh, he's as good a one-on-one -on -one ball defender as we've had here in a long time. So, you know, we just we got a lot of length. And um, we are contesting shots pretty good, I think. There wasn't any schematical major no. changes? No, we haven't. Just the guys we haven't changed it anything. So it's uh, kind of the same old look for a lot of years. You know, it's just execution and trying to get things going. But uh, no, we haven't. If you've watched this play over the years, uh, same thing. Fair to say you guys are better suited now than you would a month ago for the potential of three, four games just because all nine of those guys you could probably throw out there if you needed to for 20, 22 minutes rather than kind of having more you you get more two games. Well, first thing, we're healthy. I mean, uh, you know, we went through a stretch there where Kenny was out, you know, and, and then Paul sprained his ankle at Arizona State and, you know, he didn't play much. I, you know, I was watching the Washington games, getting ready for – this weekend and Paul didn't play much, you know what I mean? So uh, so I, we're as healthy now as we've been. So that helps. And and we've got nine guys that you know we feel comfortable with. Miles has made great progress. Uh, so he's playing good. Francis is playing good. So we're as deep now and as healthy as we've been. So but it doesn't matter. Depth doesn't matter if you don't win the first one. You know, so we we we've got to go find a way to, to win that first game and uh, and then if, if we're fortunate enough to play a second game, then, then you hope the, the nine guys is relevant. What's the excitement level going into the tournament after you come off of four wins like in the locker room? Oh, I you know, 
kind of hard to tell with our team. They're a pretty quiet bunch, but you know, I, I think they're feeling pretty good. You know, I, I think they, there's a lot more confidence that you know if, if we play a certain way, uh, that we have a good chance to win. I mean, you know, going on the road and holding Washington to 47 and out rebounding them by nine. Uh, the only thing we didn't do out of our equation, we went too many turnovers, we didn't hit free throws, you know. But to do those two things, and you know, if you put free throws and handle the ball together, you know, uh, you can you can play with anybody. And and our team's talented enough defensively and on the boards to do that. And so uh, again, we've got to do some things offensively, like. What did we have? 15, 16 turnovers. We had 10 in the first half against Washington. You know, just bad turnovers. You know, just got to be strong with the ball. And we go seven for 17 from the line. Two front ends, one and ones. You can't go seven for 19 from the line. And, you know, and, and win conference tournament games. So, you know, we got a lot of things to clean up, a lot of things to work on. But um, defensively and on the boards, you know, I, I hope we can keep that same effort and get some of the same results. Do you talk to guys about needing to win four to get in the nah. tournament? We worry about Washington State. It's uh, <laughs> real simple. You worry about four, you don't get out of one. So uh, it's uh, you know, it's all about Washington State, and and hopefully you know we can advance. We've been fortunate. Our other teams, you know, have listened to that, and you know we've had a little success. So you know I I hope our guys are only thinking about Wednesday because if not, you're packing your bags and you're heading home real early Thursday morning. With all the tournament success you have had over the last few years, are there any words of advice for your teams you've found over the years that really seem to resonate every single year you kind of go back to? Just just Washington State, your first name. You know, I mean, it, uh, uh, you just got to break it down. And you know, if you look at the whole week, you know, you just kind of get overwhelmed. Uh, four games. But, you just you got to worry about Wednesday night, and if we're fortunate enough to win Wednesday night, then we'll worry about Thursday night. And uh, so, you know, it, it really I try to keep that focus. It's all my coaches. You know, we don't even talk about anything but one game, and uh, and hopefully, you know, our players will, will think that way because people around them say, "Oh, you got to do this, you got to do that." None of that happens unless you win the first one. You know, so try to keep them focused in on that. Is that where you feel being a quiet group kind of can help them that they're able to drown that out a little bit more this time? Well, that I don't know. I don't know. I, not making any predictions what they're thinking or you know how they're feeling. Uh, uh, but no, I, you know, I, I think they'll understand where we're at. You know, I think they'll understand what we've got to do. Uh, like I said, none of that can happen unless we go in there and lock in on that first one. And, uh, you know, I just need to remind them about last year. We played Washington State. And we didn't play well. I think we went eight for 18 last year from the free throw line in the first game. You know, and just darn near cost us. So we we're going to have to get ready to, to play. Francis has received a lot of credit the last four games. So how much has Peyton meant to this team on both ends? Well, uh, you know, Francis is energy, but Peyton. You look at his stats last five games. Wow. I mean, no, absolutely. He's he's played awfully well the last five games. I uh, I really feel good for him because he, he struggled there for a while, and, and uh, you know, but for him to fight back the last five games, uh, we all were bad against USC. I mean, we just we just didn't play good. But since then, you know, the last five games we've had one bad half. But Peyton's played hard. Peyton's played well. And uh, you know, Francis is energy, but, but Peyton has played really good. You're right. Was there any surprise that he wasn't even honorable mention defense? Well, I was disappointed for him. You know, I but you only got five guys on the defensive team. Kenny gets all the recognitions because of his blocks, and but Peyton last five games, I think he's had 15 steals in the last five games. You know, I mean, he's again, he's he's turned on. I mean, I feel bad because like you know, Paul and. Peyton, Lou, you know, should have got some consideration, but two weeks ago when everybody's thinking about well, who they're going to vote for, we were six and eight. You know, you don't, losing teams, you, you don't get that many guys on there, you know, and you make a late run, a lot of guys already got their main, minds made up, you know, and if anybody watched Peyton play against Washington, you know, he uh, he's all conference, you know, but, you know, it just, if anybody watched Paul against, you know, Washington State, you know, and so, 
like I said, it's uh, we've had a lot of guys make it when we've had really good years. You know, Joe Young getting that was kind of a controversy, but he had a great year. But we won it, you know. And so when you finish first or second, uh, we're going to get more people on. Uh, like I said, two weeks ago, it didn't look like we were going to be in anybody's conversation, and and so I think a lot of our guys lost out because of that. And I feel bad for them because you know I just you like to be recognized. And, and I think we had some guys that were worthy of it. But as I look at the list, you know, you just can't take away. You know, the other guys had great years, too. You know, it's, uh, it's a crapshoot. It just is what it is. And, but, uh, you know, the last five games, four games, we've really picked it up. And uh, I think people probably have a different perception of us now than they did two weeks ago. All right, thanks. Thanks. thanks.